Today we're playing a simple number path game called Jumping the Lily Pad. This is a great way to introduce early math skills or adding and subtracting to your kids. We're going to show you three different versions of how to play it. Hey guys, come on outside. Whoa. I have a fun game for you guys to play. Come on over and I'll tell you how we're going to do it. All right, we are doing a game called Jumping the Lily Pads. Do those look like lily pads? Yeah. Okay, so first, I need your help. I need to put numbers on the lily pads. Everybody can start on your numbers, okay? I'm doing a red seven. Do it really big so we all can see them really good. Okay, here, come here. You want to trace the number three? There you go. Boom. Boom. Great. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here's how we play Jumping the Lily Pad. You're going to take this dice. You're gonna roll it, number one, two, three, and four. And then I wait my next turn, okay? All right, Silas, you go first. Roll the dice. Five, one, 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 one. Princess, Your turn. Can you move to the side so Benjamin can jump? Oh. Yeah, they're big enough. I think you can go by each other. It's that song. Good that job. Amazing. All right, wait. Six, Whoa. no, one, ribbit, two, ribbit, three, four, ribbit. Six. Good job, Rach. All right, Silas, you get to go again. This game is a great way to build number sequence learning. For Silas, it was so much fun for him to get to leap down the lily pads and then also to learn the numbers backwards as he leapt back towards the beginning. Five, one, one two, two, three, three, four. That's four. four. Five. You made it to ten. Good job. Boom. Ooh, Benjamin. One, two, three. Now turn around and go. Four. Fly. All right, good job. Rachel's turn. I'm a froggy. I'm a froggy. Two. One, two. Good. Benjamin, your turn. I got a frog. Six. Six. Benjamin might make it home. I Yay! He leaps oh, all the way home. Oh, you want to do it again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jumping the lily pad was a really fun game for my kids. We really loved being outside. I try to get my kids out as much as possible so that they cannot be in front of electronics all day long. Jumping the lily pad is not only a great early math learning game, but it's also a great way to adapt to whatever's going on around you. If it's raining outside or it's just not good weather, play the game inside. If it looks beautiful outside, take the game outdoors and have some fun. Okay guys, come on in. Whoa! Whoa. I need you guys to be best frogs you can be. Are you ready, froggies? Ready, ready, ready. 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 Felt, construction paper or cardstock, scissors, marker, dice, stickers. For our indoor version of jumping the lily pad, we made our lily pads out of felt. You can use cardstock or construction paper. One, two, three, four. And then brothers. Five. And then we taped them down to the floor so they didn't move around when they jumped from lily pad to lily pad. So when I leap, I'm gonna go ribbit. All right. Yes, that's a great jump. I asked my kids to add stickers so that the number corresponded with how many stickers there were. This is a great way to teach subitizing to kids, which is simply a big word for when they look at the number in a set, they know instantly what it is. After we did that, we rolled one dice and we simply moved our way down the lily pads. Leap to the lily pads. Try to land on one foot if you can. Show me your best leaping, okay? And you're gonna go first, I'll help you. Six, so leap one, to six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. I'll make one. I'll make one on ten. Three, one, two, three. Okay, go get the die, it's your turn. <laughs> it also is a game that allows children to kind of think on their own. How do they want to play the game? Maybe ask them what rules they can come up with. That way they can use those brains and their bodies at the same time. And I, you have to stand on the foot. Oh yeah, <laughs> some balancing. Three, you get to share with one, sis. Two, three, can you froggy share without knocking each other six. off? This is a great way to let your kids' bodies move. <gasps> six! Ribbit. 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 We made it extra fun and asked the kids to hop and eat the little flies as they went along. Go little froggy. Ribbit one. Ribbit two. Ribbit three. Ribbit four. It was fun to hear them laughing and enjoying the game. <laughs> no, watch out. You know how the floor is lava sometimes when you pretend it's lava? We're pretending it's water, so you can't fall into the water. You gotta stay on your lily pads. We're gonna
gonna make our tabletop version of jumping the lily pad. You're gonna need cardstock, construction paper, or fun foam, whatever you wanna use. You're gonna simply cut out a lily pad. Then you're going to take a marker, you're gonna put a number on it, glue it down to your construction paper or cardstock, and make a number line all the way down until you get to the number 10. Don't forget to make your little froggy friends as the tokens. Rachel, Benjamin, and I decided to make it a little more difficult than simply going down the number path. We added as they went down and then subtracted as they came all the way back. Whoever got to the end first won the game. Then we decided to make the rules a little harder than simply following the number path. We decided to take the two dice, add them together as they made their way down to number 10, and then subtract the two numbers as they made their way back down the number path. Jumping the lily pad is a great way to get your kids moving while having lots of fun and still learning some early math skills.